Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want to see all time highs soon like I do, make sure to please drop a like on the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. Let's get right into it, guys. AMC is having a beautiful, beautiful day so far today in the trading day, about halfway through the trading day right now, up 9.62%, really just ripping like straight up since the open. But we are going to have to see how AMC trades throughout the rest of this day. We'll see if the trading volume picks up like crazy, if some FOMO buying comes about. And of course, if we can blast past some of these previous resistant levels. But either way, very, very good start for AMC on this Tuesday. Now, first of all, taking a quick look at the trading volume, AMC is trading over $38 now. And so far on the day, our trading volume is at $61 million. Now, this is a little bit surprising to me. I thought that the trading volume by first glance of the share price, I thought it'd be a little bit higher. But, but hey, I'll take it and I wouldn't be surprised if the trading volume picks out before the end of the day. First off, this tweet right here, at SEC enforcement, dark pools are no longer being used for what they were intended for. Large block trades and sweep orders being protected from predatorial algorithms. Today, AMC's dark pool volume was 66.9%, while large blocks account for 6% sweeps, 20, 22 by 28, which means 38.9 was used. And it's not only the dark pool trading that has had negative effects on AMC share price. There's lots of things that as shareholders we are going up against. To name a few, naked shorting, abusive shorting, failure to delivers, naked call Mary puts, hiding the failure to delivers and into money options and much, much more. So it's not even just the dark pools. And I totally agree that the SEC does need to get more involved. From what I've been hearing and researching, it does seem like the SEC is at least going to get involved at some point here soon. Uh, but the problem is we don't know how long it's going to take. Next, guys, Catalyst, AMC, and GME will squeeze. AMC is the number one highest squeeze rank stock right now, which we went over, I think, in yesterday's video. Number two, AMC's S3 squeeze score is 100 out of 100. All DTCC rules filed. Margin requirements in the crypto market is tanking right now. JP Morgan intraday margin calls, which we've talked about. GameStop's NFT issued, GameStop split page 13, GameStop Russell 1000, AMC withdrawals S3 filing, secondary book price for AMC five to $10,000, media exposed naked shorts, four to six million individual AMC holders, hedge funds lose billions a week, AMC's number one shorted stock on market watch. Retail investors own 85% of AMC, FUD on high alert on AMC and GME subreddits, 92% buyers, 8% sellers for AMC. AMC cannot issue shares. All 20 million shares have been sold. Over half of all AMC is shorted in the dark pool. And it's going to happen one of these days, in my opinion. AMC is going to have a day, just like today. It could even happen today, where AMC is up 10%, then all of a sudden it's up 12%, then all of a sudden it's up 20%, and then there you go. It's going to be off to the races. It's going to start getting some insane media coverage because it's going to be the, one of the top movers of the day. The FOMO buying is going to kick in. The retail investors are going to be cheering, and the big institutions will be buying slash covering their positions before the mother of all short squeezes happens. It's also important to take a look at the Russell 2000 ETF because, of course, AMC is a large weighted stock inside the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 is also having a wonderful day today, 2.72% right now in the green. So a, lot, so a lot of the small caps are ripping today, which is not going to hurt AMC whatsoever. And next, guys, we have got to take a look at the option share right now because it's absolutely going crazy since AMC's price is moving around a lot. Right now, we have the top open interest for the 145 strike price, the 40, the 50, and the 35. The $35 strike price is officially in the money, and I wouldn't be surprised if this one just rips up in price for this option very soon here. But more importantly, I want to take a look at the puts because this week there was a lot of in the money puts for AMC. That's one thing that we noticed yesterday when we were looking at the options for this expiration date. We noticed that there was a decent amount of in the money puts for AMC. 
But now if we take a look at all the in the money, out the money for calls and puts, we got 37,000 in the money for the calls, 189 out of the money for the calls. And then we have 27 in the money for the puts and 129,000 out of the money for the puts. Yesterday we had a large, large amount of in the monies for the puts. So we'll have to see if AMC can keep ripping up and get some of these out of the money calls in the money. And lastly guys, let's take a look at the orders by Fidelity customers to see what the retail investors are doing today with AMC. So as of today, for the first time in a while, AMC is not the number one on top buys and sells. NVIDIA is currently number one, but AMC is right behind at number two. Even on a green day, a very, very green day like today, AMC still has more buyers and sellers. Right here you see we got 6,598 buy orders and 5,100 sell orders. So. so even when AMC is deeply in the green, a time where maybe a lot of retail investors would want to sell their shares at AMC, what is happening though there are yet again more buy orders for amc but if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with amc make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video also guys make sure to like the video for some good luck for amc if you guys want to see all-time highs like i do make sure to please drop a like in the video and finally guys make sure to go down below to my description the second link down there and join our exclusive discord server we are only going to be letting a few more members in so make sure to join the discord second link down in the description today thanks as always guys and i'll see you in the next one